There are about 350,000 foreign domestic workers in Hong Kong today. Come alone to help their families back home, they serve children and the elderly, disabled or sick, as well as possible pets. They go shopping, cooking, cleaning, ironing, glass, washing the car, the aquarium or the dog's kennel. These women work nearly 70 hours a week, get up at 5 a.m. and go to bed late at night, six days a week, totally devoted to their employer, with whom they live six days a week. Yet, one day a week, their private lives are in the open, having become useless for their boss that day, they have to leave their employer's home and find themselves in the street, unable to go anywhere other than in a free place. They congregate in certain public spaces, the Philippines has chosen Central District, Statue Square and Chatter Road, a business and banking district, deserted on Sunday, and where the traffic lights remain red, thus making some pedestrian spaces. They have also gradually occupied a whole building, the World White House. The Indonesian women chose Causeway Bay, Victoria Park and Mongkok, opting for their Philippine sisters for parks, bridges, footbridges and giant underpasses for shelter from the heat and cold. And they settle down literally. They recreate on a mat, newspaper and cardboard a small home, a small corner of the country. They take off their shoes, sit or lie down to spend the day chatting, take news of the country, comment on their week and the good or bad behavior of their bosses, and especially speak their language and eat their favorite national dishes. Some listen to the radio, sing, dance, play sports, relax. The most resourceful even give lessons of music, dance or gymnastics against a retribution. In short, they socialize, meet, laugh, cry, play, console themselves, pursue activities associated with the intimate and private life, which they must practice outside and on public roads. quelques petits malins qui se disent tous les tous les philippins qui vivent à hong kong c'est une cible potentielle donc on, on essaye de capter les votes For a day, they become themselves again, in the midst of their sisters before going back to their endless toil when the curfew comes out. 